unboxing video one i've been wanting to give it to you for a few weeks and uh you all know because you saw the splash screen but yeah we have got leech leech was uh always a favorite of mine as a kid uh, the action figure was super awesome he had a super awesome gimmick where he could suction cup to the windows and stuff smooth surfaces which was just awesome when you're a kid <laughs> i think he was probably one of the first horde figures i got uh if i remember correctly i think my brother got buzzsaw hordak and i got leech loved leech awesome bummed i missed him in the classics uh version but super psyched to get this version and let's check it out but before we do you know the drill uh like share subscribe goes a long way comment you know just say hi drop them by it, it helps us uh, beat the algorithm and get out there in front of more people which is great also uh, if you are able to hit the uh, qr code or i'm going to put the link down in the description to buy me a coffee donate uh, that really again that really helps the page a lot helps us you know bring you more figures more games that i'm trying to get together uh, and stuff like that so again if you find value in the channel if you've watched more than one video uh, and you think it's cool yeah do that also visit my ebay page uh, ebay i'm always throwing stuff up there right now i got a lot of my vintage mess universe up there uh, i've got a couple classics and we've got some mythic legions going on so yeah but uh again thanks for stopping by without further ado let's let's jump right into it uh i know sometimes i have a tendency to ramble don't want the videos to be too long want you to get enjoyment out of it and not feel like you have to skip ahead uh, every third word so uh, let's get into it as always we like to make sure we give the artists their due and we take a look at the artwork leech looking pretty menacing in that picture we have got uh scorpia scorpia is that it i don't know why am i i'm drawing a blank on that and catra scorpia maybe i don't know for some reason i'm drawing a blank on her that uh great picture of leech there looking very menacing and Oh, nice. Nice. This is one big picture. So we have Force Captain Adora. That'd be pretty cool. We got Grizzlor, which I think we... Didn't they come out with a Grizzlor figure recently? I think I saw him. I was like, eh. Yeah, they did. They did. I was like, eh. So I didn't get him. I don't think I have a Grizzlor. Honestly, I don't think I ever have. Uh, but be worth picking up. And then, of course, we have got... Uh, like, what did he get? Like a whip coming out of there? Okay. All right. And then, of course, he has got his crossbow. So we've got, like, some sort of whip thing. we got a crossbow, which the whip's new. As far as I remember, I remember having that. They all had a crossbow. And then we have no bio. But we do have something here in Spanish? Portuguese? I don't know. Uh, I don't speak either, so I wouldn't know it if I tripped on it. But, Yeah. Yeah, probably a way to, I mean, there's a couple other languages on here as well, so probably a way to keep the printing costs down, which I get, I get. Uh, I get a great little evil horde tag there. That's pretty cool. And, uh, I don't know, some of this box art I'm tempted to, to keep. Very tempted to keep, because this is badass. I hate to throw it away. So we'll see. We'll see. But I'm not a mint on card collector. I want I, I still wanted to be with classics. I try. Like, there were a couple figures... Like, they just looked so awesome in the package. I just, I just couldn't do it, though. I uh, I had to open them. I think my first classics figure was Keldor. Because at that time, I was determined, I'm just going to collect classics that I don't have in the vintage line. Yeah, that didn't work out. Uh, now I just collect Masterverse that I don't have in the classics line. But I think that's a lie, too, because I've got a couple overlaps there. But that's... That's a whole other story. So, uh, well, also, you, you may notice who we have in the background, some others that we have reviewed. I've reviewed each and every one of these. Uh, go back, watch the videos, uh, go back onto my Motu Masterverse reviews, and you can see a review for each one of these. Uh, all awesome in their own right, I guess. I haven't had one that completely sucked and I hated. Uh, some are a little underwhelming, but, you know, there we go. We've got Leech. We'll put him aside. He's bulky. That's cool. I love when they make bulky figures. That's awesome. Makes me happy. We've got the insert, which 
just in case you missed it on the side. It also gives you this. Okay, we've got, what's in here? Leech. Leech's wrist whip, which sounds like it'd be uncomfortable, and a crossbow, which crossbow is over here in the packaging. But what's in here? Well, it doesn't say to open this, so there might not be anything in here. Oh, there is. There is. I was going to say, I don't think they're going to have another set of hands for them or something. That's weird. Uh, I just did one recently, and it says open on it, you know, just in case you forget. This one does not. I like these. It's a bummer they're not resealable, but I like them. So, oh, we always look at the accessories first. Okay, we'll throw that away. This is his little wrist whip coming out of Hordak's face. It'd be even weirder if it was coming out of Hordak's mouth, but of course everything has a horde on it. Uh, very, very flexible, very, very gummy. Not a, so pretty cool. Uh, your Hordak's face there. Could probably use some paint tabs just to bring it out. You know, a little gnome oil or something just to bring it out. But overall, cool, cool. Uh, again, I forgot scissors. Do I have any over? Yeah, I do. Okay. Because pulling at those elastics is just stupid. Okay. And that's it. We got the crossbow. The crossbow is very sturdy. Uh, very sturdy, actually. I like sort of the, the flame effect we have going on here with the crossbow. Looks like it should clip onto his arm pretty well. Um, yeah, I really like that. Again, you don't have a lot of paint tabs in there. Is that supposed to be like, oh, it turned? No way. Is that on purpose? I don't know if it's on purpose. The head's not, not gummy, but it's something. So I bet you if you, again, you put some shade on this, I bet you it'd look even better. But overall, again, I like it. I like that flame effect. They even put like a little switch. Oh, come on. Come on, they didn't have to do that. But they did. It's the little things in life. When you're a collector, it's the little things. Okay, so we got that. Uh, we got his whip. We got his weapon. And let's uh, break into him here. We can. How many elastic things do they have on this guy? I get a lot. Ah, that was my finger. Let's not cut the tip of my finger off, please. Ah. Okay. Oop. Oop. Out. I'll pick that up later. And there we go. Let's drop them out. Ooh. Okay. I like I like when they make them with big feet because they're easier to stand. Like, whoop. Uh, I spoke too soon. Uh, she was a pain in the butt to stand. Let's go down. Here we go. So, uh, what do we got going on? Right away, let's uh, let's look. We got you know nice articulation. Obviously, they're meant to be suction cups, but they're not. Um, faces not got. Ooh, those are sharp teeth. Sharp teeth. The color. I almost feel like is it me or no? It almost feels like his head doesn't match the rest of his skin. Yeah, okay, so that's a little frustrating. There's a couple of frustrating things. We'll point out the frustrating things, and then we'll go to the other things. So, well, I guess you could say that's not skin. Okay, you could say that's armor, and that's why it's that color. But it looks like it's his skin. I was going to say, that's a little annoying that that was different colors. The mouth, all this, it looks like a different color, but it could be because the red from the mouth is throwing it off. If I do this, and we're ignoring the mouth and the teeth, yeah, I guess it looks... The same color as everything else. Um, but yeah, uh, let's. What do we got? We got your standard articulation coming in. We get the details with the bumpiness. That's cool. I like that. It is bumpy skin. Very cool. More bumpy skin. We've got the armbands, kind of rubbery armbands, which 
Looks like this one got turned around a little bit, so we can fix that. Make it look like this one. So those are cool. Oh, uh, can use some paint apps on the belt. I mean, you can use, they could all use some paint apps here and there. Just a, uh, I'm used to admit because I'm spoiled. So, oh uh, yeah, let's let's see. We get standard, yeah, standard there, standard. Uh, good stuff rotation there. You've got good foot tilt. Again, you don't have the supination pronation, which is your side. Oh, do you? Maybe you do. No, that's just me flexing the plastic. So you don't really have your side to side. You have your front to back. Oh, uh, got double jointed knees, which again never appreciated till I actually had some. And then we've got double jointed elbows. He's gonna lose some shoulder articulation. I'm sure. Well, maybe not. This may be. I'm looking to see if these can come off. I don't know if those can come off. Oh, they probably can. Uh, they look like they're. Yeah. All right. Sweet. So if you don't like these, if you don't like these, you can get these off. Check that out. If you're like, you know, my leech doesn't have shoulder pads. Oh, okay, that's cool. Again, it's, it's, it's the little things. So those can come off, and they seem to be on there pretty good. Uh, Got to have the, the horde bands, right? And he's got that there. We've got stitching in the leather cuffs. That, again, good detail. Good detail. They could have just given you a nice, meh, flat black plastic, but they didn't. They gave you that little detail. So that's something to appreciate. Uh, we've got you know, horde symbol here. We've got some ab crunch. We'll get some good ab crunch on him. His head articulation. Oh, well, he's got good head articulation. Can not go up? Doesn't really. Eh, he, does, he nods a little bit, so that's good. The eyes are where they're supposed to be, right? All the white is on the teeth. Sharp teeth, I might point out. His tongue's very rough, which you wouldn't expect to see that. But yeah, his tongue's very rough and bumpy. Oh. Uh, Look at the back. Again, yeah, I think it's all supposed to be armor, so we'll go with that. Um, again, could you use some paint apps on maybe the armor and the belt? Yes, you could. But overall, solid figure. Solid. Solid. I, again, always had a lot of fun with Leech growing up. Uh, Loved sticking him to windows and the refrigerator and the oven and just about anything you could think of. Uh, this whip thing's new. That's kind of cool. Take that. Uh, you just you gotta have the sound effects. And let's put his crossbow on. I don't know if I'll keep that on, but I'll definitely keep his crossbow on. Yeah, I'm badass. So yeah, do I leech? Yeah. Okay. If you don't have leech, get leech. He's cool. Um, not often do I sit here and go, with the Masterverse. Not often with the Masterverse have I sat here and gone, that's super cool. And again, it's probably the nostalgia factor, but he's super cool. Okay, Trapjaw, super cool. Um, go back and watch my reviews. I, I, I like him. I like him. You should get him. He's still available out there. Uh, did it really... I think they did a really good job on him. He looks really cool. Is he better than the Classics version? I don't know. I didn't have the Classics version. Somebody else just posted up a video recently, uh, a short. I forget which page it was on Instagram. Hemania, maybe? Um, one of the, the many Mochi pages I follow. And he posted all his leeches from Vintage uh, to 2000X, which 2000X was one of them, uh, all the way up to this most recent one. And they're all a little bit different. They're all very cool. But this guy, he's cool. He's worth getting. So if I were going to give him a score of 1 to 10 or 1 to purple, then he's an 11 yellow. An 11 yellow. Yes. Again, we don't give ratings. We don't give scores. We just say, should, would I buy him again? That's probably the best way to say it. Would I buy him again? Yeah, I'd buy him again. He's cool. He's cool. Would I pay like eBay you know, $50 prices? No, no, because that's not me. But... uh yeah, he's worth getting if you don't have a leech in your collection. Because you got to have a leech. He's very cool. Which I need to get the the horde set for the uh, the battleground game that I did a video on a couple months back. You can go back and check that out. 
But yeah, again, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're a return viewer, uh, really appreciate that. And you know, definitely do the page a solid. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, donate if you can. And yeah, appreciate you. See ya.